Welcome back, people, for part three of our interview with aliens. Jamie, you ready to rock and roll again? I think so. <laughs> it's not been easy, but Eric is here to help you when you need it, so that, that's good. Now, tell us about your medical technology. That's my first question. Would this question be better suited if you asked um, medical technology for human beings or medical technology for them? I guess for them first. Let's talk about that first. They don't they require for medical attention. Hmm. They don't possess physical bodies like we do. They're different. So they don't get cancer and things like that. No, they don't. The, the soul, as you would describe it, the soul, the body, the thought is one one piece. Hmm. One piece. Okay. Now, do you have medical technology that you use on us then? Yes. Now, well, can you cure diseases and help uh, my neck not hurt and help Jamie with whatever she has? <laughs> um, they're saying yes. But the only instruments and tools they're showing me is, is fingers. They do have fingers. Okay. They're really long. They look like they have, um, like they would have an extra joint. Okay. So do you practice medical technology on us then? You don't, but you have the power to, but you don't. Okay. Now, tell us about your, I guess, well, first of all, what do you do for food? What do you eat over there? Nachos? Alien nachos? They knew that was funny. <laughs> um... Erica. They they don't create food or put food on a plate uh, t to eat. Mm -hmm. This looks like a a nourishment source. Uh, it, it 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 has a color to it, like um, a bright pinkish. Purple, but it has a, a shimmer. Okay. I know it doesn't. It, it's not water. Mm -hmm. I, you know what it really reminds me of? This sounds so weird. Mm -hmm. If you had like a pink purple hand sanitizer. Oh, okay. Sometimes gets the air bubbles in it and it looks a little jelly like in a way. So, Alien Purell, huh? So, where do you, where does it come from? They're trying to explain it to me. It, it's not a plant, mm -hmm. per se, but it is a type of growth. And you harvest this kind of okay. gel fluid thing. But it, it's really all that they need. They don't eat out of um, creativity. They don't eat out of taste. Okay. So it, it just grows. Where does it grow that is to be harvested? Just on the ground or? When they're in ships. Uh-huh. Best way I know how to explain it would be like, um, like an individual room, large room, like a terrarium or. Okay. Um, but I, I don't see casual areas like seating for eating. Okay, that's fine. No, no you, cafeteria, no restaurant, no. Okay, do you have jobs? Do you make money? 
I mean, m mundane jobs. I know your job here is to help us in many ways, but no taxi cab drivers. I mean, n no jobs of the like in the way we have. They're not an industrial race. Okay. And so they don't need money. They don't need money. Okay. What is the what does your environment look on, like on your planet? Including your cities, if you have any. Yeah, they don't have cities like ours. Mm -hmm. There's no... Uh, buildings like we have, mm -hmm. no structures. For them being so tall, the kind of plant life, mm -hmm. is the only way I know how to describe it, mm -hmm. there are leaves that are larger than them. Oh, wow. So, I wouldn't call it necessarily jungle-like, Okay. it's very, um, it's colorful. Mm -hmm. There are spacious areas. For some reason, I can't really see how they live, where. Mm -hmm. Do they have uh, bodies of water, mountains, things of that nature? They, they do have different terrain. Okay. I would say, yes, there are mountainous areas. Okay. I don't see large oceans like we possess. Okay. I see more... Um, like lakes and rivers and things? More like um, springs, like things that would be under, uh, under, under the surface. Okay. All right. Do you have music and other types of arts or... Okay. Yes, art, um, visual and performing arts are unnecessary to express themselves. So they mm -hmm. haven't really focused or created that. Well, how do you express yourself then? They see each living being as a piece of art and expression. Mm. Wow. Do you have animals like pets and things of that nature? That was almost offensive. <gasps> oh, how about animal companions? I'm sorry, because, yeah. Yeah. Oops. Sorry, that's... What, uh, describe one of the most common ones. Like, our common ones are dogs and, and cats. That's not anything like we have... If you could imagine that the wind would come in separate contained creatures, then mm -hmm. that's what it would be. If the wind? Wow, I'll have to think about that one. Eric, can you clarify that? That's what I thought. <laughs> I know he's having a hard time with this as well. Okay. So unusual. If you could imagine seasons, mm -hmm. rain, wind, or like weather patterns, mm -hmm. the heat of the sun to be represented by an energetic creature. Okay. They would move in herds and they can change the environment atmosphere. Interesting. So through the migration, they, they feed and change and alter the, the surface of their planet. Oh, interesting. Do you have any special connection to it, to any animals or any living source on Earth? No, they're not like humans in that retrospect. We don't have favorites, they said. Okay. We don't identify as one being closer or one being further away. Okay. What's the name of your planet? I can see it written down. It's not 
to me in English. It, it's not actually a, a language that I know of. I would associate it more to a, like a hieroglyphics kind of a... Okay. All right, so um, do you live in any kind of dwellings? I mean, we, we touched upon that before, but uh, do you live in any kind of dwelling at all? It's almost like they live inside their planet or inside the plant or... Inside the plant or within the plants? Like within. It. No, inside. Actually inside the plants. Wow. Fascinating. So, but you say you're not an industrial uh, species, but yet you build spacecrafts. Mm -hmm. So you don't have to have factories and things of that nature for uh, to build these things. And we have places where we build them, but it's not factories. Okay, so you don't have cities, but you do have places that you build certain things, like your spacecrafts. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that's been handed down. Like what you would consider, you know, centuries or generations. Okay. okay. How this works. All right, just have a couple more questions. Tell us about your personal lives and your personalities. Okay. Well, they're definitely not clowns. <laughs> so they're just a barrel of monkey. They're just a, not, not somebody you want to take to a party to liven things up. Right. They're, they're not animated. Okay. They're, but they're not solemn. They're extremely grounded. And calm. So calm. Mm -hmm. Holy. Like, I think I should just go to sleep for a few hours after this. <laughs> um, you're talking about personality. This is weird. This is kind of how Eric talks about being in spirit, where you don't have to know all the information. You can access it when you need to know it mm. on a need-to-know basis. Mm -hmm. They kind of function in the same way. So, like for me, this sounds so weird. And it's always weird the first time you do anything new, but... It is if they can use every part of my my brain, every sense, hmm. at one time to communicate. They don't have this just a verbal language, mm -hmm. audio way of receiving it, mm -hmm. or a visual cue of how the position of the body is so we know if the person's angry or not. They use the entire part. Everything. Yeah. firing off. I don't even know how to explain. We don't have the language to explain so much of this. So what do you do? You know, you, like we get up in the morning, we eat breakfast. We Tell me about just a, a typical day in the life of an alien. And then I have one more question and we'll close. And do you have rest? Okay. Do you lie in a bed? Do you hang from a plant? How do you do that? It depends if they're on their home planet or somewhere else. On their home planet, what's it like? Um, you could call it a bed, but it's it's made of plant substance. Okay. Plant substance is the only thing I know how to call it. It's That's the fine. Thing. Okay. There's things that we just don't have the language for. All right, yep. so so you have periods of rest. You have uh, periods of, that you nourish yourself. They what? don't necessarily have a routine like mm -hmm. we do. Like you wake up and you have breakfast, and they don't have order. But just because order is absence... It does not mean chaos exists. Oh. It's just, um, it's like always being a part of a dance. Oh. Are they nomads? Are you nomads? No. Okay, one last question. We talked about the technology that you have 
that we don't have? What other abilities do you have that we don't have? Um, transportation. No, your personal abilities with your body, like telepathy, things, things like that. Transportation. What what do you mean? Transport the, you can transport your body from place to place? Is it kind of like the beam yourself, beam, beam me up, Scotty, where you sort of demolecularize? I just made up that word. And uh, is it something like that? Similar, yes. Okay, well, can you go into a little bit more detail? It's just their mode of transportation. Okay, so so that's the way they they can come to our planet too, right? Not just within a craft, but oh, that's interesting. What else do you have? You have telepathy, I'm sure, and you have senses that are different than ours, perhaps. Um, I would call that remote viewing, oh. but they use another entity to be able to see. Another entity, okay. So let's say if I wanted to know what was going on in your house, I, Jamie, could connect with you, Elisa, and I would be able to see everything that you see and feel, you know, experience what you're going through. Oh, oh through, through, like through another entity's eyes and senses, etc. And you have senses? Okay. Yes, yeah. So anything else about... Your abilities, you, you know, that, that we don't have? I mean, I'm sure there's plenty, but any others that are extremely significant? Regrowth. Ah, so if you, what do you mean? If you cut off, if you get an arm chopped off, you can grow back? Well, that comes in handy. Anything else you want to share with us? Eric said he really liked that concept too. Wouldn't. Oh God. What? <laughs> Can't even say it, Elisa. I'm so sorry. What is it, the Lena Bobbitt uh, thing? How did you come up with that? I knew it was that. I knew it's like you know the I don't know the guy's name, Mr. Bobbitt, I guess, but he got something bobbed off. But uh, yeah, that could degenerate. That was so weird. You just even that was hysterical. All right, so anything else that you want to share before we close? And give Jamie, a, poor Jamie, a rest. Okay. I'm not sharing anything else. Well, thank you so much for illuminating so much, so many questions. I just, I really appreciate it. I respect you guys and honor you. And I'm so grateful for the help you give us meager earthlings. Um, they're saying thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye. Did they wave? I <laughs> went to him. Okay. Oh, poor baby. Oh, my God. All right. So, thank you, guys. I think this was a fascinating series on with our interview with aliens. Eric, you've been such a big help. Thank you very much. Jamie, you need to lick your wounds and take a break here. And, uh, this is, it's fresh air and pinch myself, maybe. I know, I know. Well, be sure that you go to Jamie's site, withloveandlight.com. She has a wonderful book, too, that you, you can find on the, uh, on the website, as, as, uh, as well as a calendar full of events. She does readings as well, group readings and private readings. So check it out, withloveandlight.com. Yes, thank you. And if you are watching this and you have not checked out the blog, go to channeling Eric and it's with a K dot com and start with the archives. Eric has Eric's a hoot. This was interesting. Eric <laughs> helped more up his sleeves. Quite amazing. Alright. Thank you guys. Bye Eric. I love you. Eric's waving bye. He says thank you. <laughs> <laughs>